Okay, if you know anything in regards to this case, if you were present, perhaps didn't provide your statement to detectives, please come forward. Now at 6, San Jose police looking for the person who they say shot and killed a Safeway employee. Thank you for joining us for Crown Point News at 6. I'm Pam Moore. And I'm Ken Wayne. Police say the shooting happened at the Safeway store on Hamilton Avenue in the Willow Glen neighborhood of San Jose. It happened early Sunday morning, shortly after 3.30. Police say when they got on the scene, they found the victim, Manny Huizar, was suffering from a gunshot wound and he later died. The circumstances surrounding the shooting have not been released. Police say they're still reviewing surveillance video, but so far have not identified a suspect. Meantime, outside that Safeway, a memorial being held by family and friends of the victim. Some of them told us they are stunned by this turn of events. Ground Force Amanda Harry just talked to the victim's brother, and Amanda, uh, there's a lot of grieving going on there and a lot of questions. Yes, still a lot of questions. His brother is having a very hard time with that. He says that his brother was a very nice guy, dedicated to work and very well loved by his community and his friends. You can see all that love behind me here with this memorial that's set up and all the people that are around it right now. I've watched this afternoon as more people have come out and added flowers to it. Manuel Isaac Cusare Cornejo's brother, Guillermo, says he's also seen the memorial and is touched by it. The victim's brother tells me he worked overnights, but he would always come home by 7 a.m. At 9 a.m. on Sunday, his other brother got a call from someone saying something happened at Safeway. They tried to call Huzair, and he didn't pick up. They went to Safeway and talked to police. The officers said people were downtown for questioning at the police department. Guillermo went down there to see if his brother was there, but police wouldn't tell him anything. It took a couple of hours for the coroner to actually tell them that he was the victim. I should think that food's going to come home. Uh, last night, I live with them. I live with them. I told my brother, to my sister-in-law, last night coming home, it was so hard. Like, I went to his room, I cried, I cried. I tried to sleep on his bed, I couldn't. His brother tells me they still don't know a lot about what happened, but they hope to learn more from police soon. Police are still looking for the suspect in this case, and they're asking the public if you saw anything or know anything to reach out to San Jose police. Live in San Jose, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.